welcome back. This is a very, very important video. And by the end of this, if you haven't already, please share this on your social media accounts because it's videos like these that tend to disappear off the internet. I'm sure by now, many of you know that over the last couple weeks, not only has our weather radar failed us multiple times, it was in the news, made headlines a very big deal in this day and age for our weather systems to just fail. Also, just a few days ago on April 17th, something even more scary happened. And that is that many of us here in the US in multiple states lost the ability to call 911. Now, as you may assume, this spread like wildfire on the internet and it was soon determined, which I'm about to completely prove false, is that the error happened because of a line pole being installed. That is the official excuse for this situation. And naturally with all that's going on in the world, not many people are believing this. And by the end of this video, you're gonna have more reasons why. Now that I've caught you up to speed, we need to look at the exact time that this took place. And according to this article right here, it happened just before 7 p.m. local time in Nevada. Keep that in mind, that is super important because I'm gonna show you something that took place in Nevada the exact second. And I'm not joking, the exact second we lost 911, the whole beginning of that situation started right here in Nevada with two radar towers, which after I'm gonna show you pretty much proves that our next red radar system is capable of direct energy weapon technology. And if you don't believe me, take a look at this video that was posted by Dutch Sense. This video is from 1988 from Lieutenant Colonel Thomas giving a speech about a super technology that is called a DEW or a direct energy weapon. Without going into super detail, basically, this technology has the capability to focus massive amounts of energy almost to a single point if needed. I highly recommend you research DEWs and the Havana Syndrome. This has been in the news a lot lately and has very much to do with this exact technology. There was a huge issue with the Russians and this technology, and it was actually spoken about in the New York Times and on different media channels, and then it was definitely shoved under the rug and kept quiet. Even though a lot of the info was out there, the hope was that enough people did not know about it, but as the technology that you or I have access to got better, over time we've been able to see the artifacts and byproduct of them testing these weapons. And keep in mind, that video is from the 80s. We're talking 40 years of advancement since this video. So who knows where this technology is now? So to think that each one of our next red radars does not have this technology, and if you don't believe me there, take a look at this. This is a NASA laser being driven down the highway in broad daylight with the NASA logo on it. Now we know NASA has lasers, but they don't really call them DEWs. But does this not look like the exact model that says direct energy weapon? I think it does. So keep that in mind as I explain exactly what's going on here. And now after all that, how does this tie into what happened with our weather system and then 911? Among many other things, large earthquakes, massive storms, the theories about this technology are unbelievable. And many, many people believe, and there's a lot of evidence out there that some major earthquakes and major storms have been a byproduct product of whoever's using this technology to beef up these situations or make them stronger. You know, kind of like Dubai did when they over cloud seeded themselves and caused the flood. Yeah, I think it was a little more than that. Not to mention when we broke the Antarctica anomaly, we were saying how that was a direct energy weapon or a type of frequency. This stuff is all connected. So as I said, the 911 event began around seven o'clock local time in Nevada. That would equal 10 p.m. on the East Coast, which is when I was looking at radar scope and found this. These two radars happen to be two radar stations that are completely controlled by the U.S. Navy. The ones surrounding it are not. And these two radars are the only two that gave off these signal beams at the exact same second, just like we were shown back in the 80s from the DEW video. So I want you to think about this for a second and really think about this. Now, as I said, this happened around 7 o'clock Nevada time, 10 o'clock Eastern time, but it was first noticed around 6.36 or 9.36 Eastern time. Check this out. So as you can see, without a shadow of a doubt, and with the time you are looking at actually being 636 Nevada time, both of these military radar in Nevada, the same state where the 911 outage began, two military radar were activated and both produced an energy beam with a cross section that we just discussed is used to produce an enormous amount of power. Now what that power did, I don't know, maybe some sort of EMP, but this is interesting as well because this traveled up into the Dakotas and I happened to catch that as well right here. And very shortly after that, we all know what happened in the Dakotas. No 911. Now, I told you this was some intense info. The evidence we have here is directly showing that at the same times that we are 
having these random outages in the United States. Something is going on with our radar system and it seems to be happening intelligently. How many things do we need to match up to see that this 911 situation at least and more than likely the weather radar situation may have all been caused on purpose. Now what the reasoning is for that I'm not even going to try to get into right now. I just want to give you guys this information so I ask that you share this video and research the topics I've talked about because all this stuff lines up way more than I could ever put in a video. I would love to hear your thoughts on this my friends and the more we talk about it the more this video will remain available. All right everybody thank you all so much. Don't forget to check out the X and Instagram pages as well as TikTok. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Because now weapons of mass destruction can be made by an individual in their bathtub. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.